I am your produce guy and today I'm opening coconuts. We're going to go ahead and start with our young Thai coconut, but if you would like to see how to select these coconuts at the store, just click on my lovely bunch of coconuts over here and that'll take you to our when is it right video on these. Now I'm going to use a cleaver to uh, open this one and we're going to start by uh, taking off the top of the husk here. It's got a pointy end on it here indicating the top. I'm going to go, and go ahead and remove this. The uh, husk, do not throw this away. This is great stuff. This coconut husk can go out in your garden, uh, around your landscape plants, or even in potted plants. You want to chop it up a little bit. It does, uh, what it does in your soil is it helps retain water. It is a, a great, great uh, mulch that can go around your plants. So we're getting the uh, husk off here and exposing the top of the nut. And that is looking real good right there. So let me clear off this husk and we'll get that put away. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back edge of this cleaver and I'm going to bring it down right on the nut here. Okay, maybe one more right in there. And what I want to do, I'm going to get it wedged in that crack that I just created. There we go. Whoa, got coconut water coming out already. It's cracked around the, uh, the top here, the crown. About a little over a cup of water came out of that one. Now the flesh inside, we'll go ahead and use just a spoon and pull that out. They do make some tools that are, that are specialized in pulling this coconut flesh out, but you can do it with a spoon. An ice cream scoop works also. Um, get down in here to the inside the nut. And you'll notice that this flesh is quite a bit thinner and much more pliable. Uh, oftentimes it'll be gelatinous uh, as it comes out and you can use this. It's great in smoothies, delicious. Of course that coconut water is filled with electrolytes and you've got a high level of potassium in, in, uh, in this stuff. So that is just great. All right, we're gonna set that one aside and we're gonna work on our mature coconut now. With our mature coconuts, we will need to drain the water as well. Now on these uh, mature coconuts, they've got these three little spots there, and there's one that's always kind of dark, darker than the other two. That's the softest of the three, and so I'd recommend going through there. You can use a paring knife to go down in there, an ice pick, or even a screwdriver and a hammer uh, if you need to. My tool of preference, though, is my handy dandy power drill. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Okay, that went right through. And I did uh, two holes so that it gets a little, little air going out there. Let the, let the water come out. We'll go ahead and let that drain for a little bit. With our water drained, we're ready to go ahead and open our coconut. And what we're going to do is take our cleaver. In this case, you could use a hammer and it would work also for this. I'm taking the back side of my cleaver and I'm going to run, I'm going to tap, I'm going to tap pretty hard, the coconut all the way around from the, in between the uh, spots here where we drained it and the, the crown of the nut. We're going to go kind of around the, the middle of it. So just a few whacks. Turn it. Oh, we're cracking already. That's great. Just keep going around. Oh, and there we are. Right open, just like that. Easy as can be. From this point, you've got a few options. The next thing that I would do here is break down this shell further so I've got smaller pieces to work with.
take a table knife or other non-sharp knife and work it in between the coconut meat and the shell to get that off of there. Then that uh, meat does come with a brown kind of film to it. Uh, you can just eat that and that's fine. Or you can peel that off and shred up the coconut and, and have some homemade shredded coconut for desserts or other applications. Of course, your coconut water, you're gonna to wanna to give that a little bit of a strain because we do have just a few bits in there and I don't like drinking those bits. So give that a strain and uh, this, of course, is nature's sports drink and very nutritious, good for you. If you would like to see a video on how to make your own homemade coconut milk, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down in the comments section below. Thanks for being with us today and our segment on opening coconuts. I am your produce guy looking forward to seeing you next time where once again we'll show you that fresh is best. Hawaiian papaya, that's the smaller papaya grown mostly in Hawaii, that's where most of the U.S. production comes from, is the Hawaiian smaller papaya. And then I have the uh, Maridol papaya, also known as Mexican papaya or even Caribbean reds.